What's up, y'all? <laughs> so you guessed it from the title. Best of 2021. It's gonna be a long one, y'all. So grab a drink, grab a snack, get, grab a full ass meal. I really don't care, okay? Like, it's gonna be a long one though. So we're gonna be here for a while. <sighs> Let's just do it, y'all. First, first, I wanna say, you know, 2021, like, was not easy by any means for a lot of people. And if you're out there and you made it and you're watching this, I appreciate y'all just hanging tight and just supporting your girl and just, you know, keep going. Going, you know like better things are coming and you know this whole like happy new year thing which I mean happy new year <laughs> But also, like, don't be forced into all these, like, just ridiculous goals just because you feel like you're supposed to, okay? Just, it's all right to coast every once in a while. I think we all just need a minute and, you know, like, you know... <laughs> anyway, all that to say that I hope everybody had just an awesome holiday, you know, a happy new year. I hope you're all healthy and just happy. Let's do this, okay? <laughs> so all of the products that I have to show you guys today are actually not necessarily 2021 releases. A lot of these products did actually release in 2021, but a lot of them didn't. <laughs> So these are all just the products that I have like used and abused this year. These are like the staples, the go-tos, the holy grails, you know what I'm saying, of just the entire year, you know? So I am going to get started with primer for a lot of these categories. Actually, for most of these categories, I tried to keep it to like one to two products. So you really know, like these are legit, like my holy grails, the products that I would 100% stick to. But like for some categories, I couldn't really do that. <laughs> like lips. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in order that I do my face basically. So the first is primer and y'all, this is just my favorite primer. This is from Tatcha. This is a silk canvas primer. And again, y'all have heard me talk about this just all year long. This is just the most smoothing, makeup perfecting, or really skin perfecting because I actually wear this when I'm not wearing anything on my face. I'll put it on under makeup. I'll wear it when I'm not wearing any makeup at all. I just, I feel like it just smooths everything it evens my my skin tone even I feel like it's one of those like purpley-ish pinkish you can't really tell uh but I mean you see I've like used it all up I need a new one now oh my god I just I absolutely love this primer again it just smooths me out it evens me out it just makes my face look flawless even before I put any makeup on and I just this is one primer that I just I can never do without I mean anytime I ever do my makeup that's the one that I reach for it's just my favorite y'all for foundation I actually only have two which is like shocking because I have a lot of foundations I love to test foundations they're like my favorite types of products to try out but these two take the cake and I do have one for like light coverage and then one for full coverage so whatever side of the spectrum you're on I got you <laughs> so the first one is from Ilia this is the super serum skin tint SPF 40 this is just my favorite skin tint of all time y'all it looks so healthy on the skin it looks like just your skin it just evens everything out and for a skin tint I feel like this has like pretty good coverage like you could get a really decent coverage from this skin tint now is it full coverage no you're not gonna get full coverage Coverage. Some things are gonna peek through if you have like major skin issues like major acne I've actually seen people cover their rosacea with this, but it's just you know It's so just healthy looking on the skin and it has a SPF in it already This is my favorite skin tint y'all. I put this on with a brush I put it on with a sponge with my fingers I just it, this skin tint always looks good and I I could just rock this skin tint an eyebrow mascara and we're done. This is like my everyday type skin product. You know what I'm saying? Now for those glam glam days, Il Maquillage takes the cake, okay? And I have seen the IGTV videos, I've seen the ads, and I really just bought it because I wanted to know, okay? Because there's just no way that a girl can put on some foundation and it just look like she has a filter on her face. But you see it, right? Like, <laughs> I'm actually wearing this foundation today and y'all, uh, you know, the hype is real. This foundation is so blurring, so so just like flawless on the skin when you put it on it is like full 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 coverage but it's not like heavy looking it doesn't look like cakey and just like matte it actually has like a satin finish this Ilia one is bare bare glowy okay and just I fucks with both okay this Il Maquillage one is just what I reach for when I'm doing like a full beat like today you know this is this is like my go-to foundation when I just need to look flawless and I need to cover everything you know what I'm saying for concealer I just you know I have so much concealer and 
while I have used just a ton of stuff this year, really this one takes the cake. I just, this is the only concealer that I have reached for consistently from month to month. I'm always testing things out. I'm always buying things. Yes, I have different favorites every month, but this is one thing that has carried me through the entire year. This is from Tarte. This is the Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. I'm in the shade N38. I'm sorry, 38N. Really the only thing I absolutely love about this concealer is that I, it is so full coverage, y'all. It is so full coverage, but it's creamy so it doesn't look like dry and crepey like the original Shape Tape under the eyes. But also, when you're not wearing like a full beat, this looks so natural on the face when I'm wearing nothing else. Like I could put this just in the inner corners of my eyes, blend it out, and it just looks like my whole face has come alive. Like I just look alive. Do you know what I'm saying? I do hate the shade range. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like Tarte shade range just sucks, you know, in general. But this, this is just my favorite concealer, y'all. It's it's thick and it's creamy, but it and it's full coverage, but it's not like heavy on the skin. It's not cakey at all. And it just covers everything. It does look really natural under the eyes. And again, I could wear it when I'm wearing a full beat like today, which I am wearing that concealer today. Or I could wear it with absolutely nothing on my face. Just a little primer, a little concealer concealer and I'm out the door. Do you know what I'm saying? Now just sticking with cream products like before I would set my face. I do have a couple of cream bronzers and stuff that I wanted to talk about. The first one is this. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last year. This is just my favorite cream bronzer like ever. This is from Nude Sticks. This is the all over face color in the shade Bondi Bay. This is a little like too light for me in the summer months. That's what it looks like there. But it's just, it's a matte formula without being like super dry. It's not like the Fenty Match Sticks where it's like hard to blend out almost. It does come with a brush on the other side and the brush actually does work really well. But it's just, it's creamy with a matte finish that just looks glowing without being oily. Do you know what I'm saying? I just absolutely love all of these nude sticks, all the blushes, all the bronzers. I, I absolutely love them. Their shade ranges could be improved, but I fucks with this, okay? This is like my favorite cream bronzer of all time. The other one is actually from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the cream bronzer in the shade Golden Tan. I want to say this did launch this year, and I absolutely love this. This actually has a very similar formula to the nude sticks one, but it's just like in a pot. You know what I'm saying? It is matte, but it's very creamy, but just not like emollient. It doesn't feel greasy on the face. So if you have oily skin like I do, this this is a cream bronzer that actually works for our skin type. I just love like cream bronzers like this in the summertime. You know, just a little concealer, a little cream bronzer, an eyebrow, mascara, and you're like poolside, okay? Or you're at the beach, you know what I'm saying? And you're looking sun-kissed, you know what I'm saying? And I know cream products in the summertime actually feel counterintuitive, but like I feel like these cream bronzers in particular just look so good in the summer because your skin is just glowing you know what I'm saying? And they actually wear really well. Both of these are actually pretty long wearing. Which brings me to Cream Blush. This one by, from Makeup by Mario is actually one of my favorites. I just recently purchased this. This is the Soft Pop Blush Stick in the shade Soft Coral. And that's it there. It does blend out really nicely. It looks scary. It looks scary when you first apply it. But it does blend out really nicely with this brush on the other side. It is also really long wearing. It's glowy without being emollient. You know what I'm saying? Like you look flushed and golden and just like glowing. But it's not like, you know, it's not too much. It doesn't feel tacky to the touch. It does wear for a pretty long time. And I just, I love the look of cream bronzer and blush with no powder on top. You know what I'm saying? This one also took the cake. I'm pretty sure I featured this in a favorites video. This is the Anastasia Stick Blush in the shade Peach Caramel. I just love how neutral this is. Again, it looks really intimidating when you first apply it, but it does blend out really nicely with this brush. And I just feel like it just looks natural on the face. It is, both of these are like matte finishes, but they're very glowy matte finishes. If that makes any sense. They're not like wet and oily and emollient. They do have a matte finish, but it looks like glowy almost, almost like a sheen to your face. It's not sticky, it's not tacky, it's not greasy. And I just, you know, I, I fucks with cream products like this just because they're easy to apply on the go also, you know, and they just make for such a quick face, but it looks like you tried so hard. You know what I'm saying? For cream highlight, I actually have two, but they're actually like super different. So the first one is actually from Ami Cole. This is the light catching highlighter. And this is actually more of like a gloss than it is like a highlighter. 
It is like a clear, I don't know if you can see, it is like clear, but it has like gold specks in there. And it does look more like a gloss than anything. That's it there. I just absolutely love this for days where I'm just like wearing a skin tint, you know, or just like a little concealer, a little of this gloss. Eyebrows and mascara. You know, eyebrows and mascara are really the only two things that I wear like on the daily. But again, I just feel like this highlighter stick, and I mean, it's not like sticky or greasy. Like when you do blend it out, it does just sit on the skin and it makes your skin look just like super moisturized, super supple. And it is like a gloss, but it's not like obnoxious or uncomfortable or tacky. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it just makes for such a natural glow on days where you're just not wanting to put on a full face. You know what I'm saying? The other cream highlight I have is actually from Hourglass. This is the Vanish Stick Highlight in Champagne Flash. I, I feel like Hourglass products are just made for like textured skin, mature skin. This is it here. And it does blend out like super naturally. Like when you blend it out, it just looks like a sheen. I feel like Hourglass products are made with the mature woman in mind. You know, that it doesn't accentuate texture. It doesn't accentuate fine lines, just nothing. It, everything from Hourglass just looks like your skin, but just like slightly enhanced. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about these cream highlights. I actually have a couple of them. I think I have the pink flash one also. And I just, again, I love that it's like a very light sheen. It's not metallic in any way. You're not going to see it from space, but it's almost like your skin, but better type of glow. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you have dry skin or if you have oily skin, you're going to love this. It is like a matte highlight, if that makes any sense. It's, it almost feels like a powder finish to it, but it's not dry. It doesn't look crepey on the skin. I just, Hourglass just does complexion products. Okay. Like they just do it. Okay. So after all of those, like cream products. I'm ready to set my face, okay? And the two powders that have really just stood out to me like year on year and like month to month are just, these are just two of my staples. So the first one is from Anastasia. This is the loose setting powder. This one is actually in the shade banana. I do also have the translucent shade, but this is just my favorite loose setting powder at the moment. I do feel like this actually fills in my pores. It smooths me out. It blurs all my imperfections. It also brightens. Also, also y'all, I feel like this powder, when I set my makeup with this powder, everything just lasts so much longer. Everything stays in place, you know, especially if I'm wearing like a full ass face. I'm not wearing this today though, but I do feel like it just sets everything in place and like locks it into place and like nothing moves and it just makes your face just look so flawless. Okay. Everything just looks flawless under this powder and it's not heavy. You know what I'm saying? Some say Setting powders are actually kind of heavy. Like they do look like dry and crepey on the skin. This one doesn't, okay? This one just looks flawless, okay? You just look like a picture in a magazine. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> the other powder I have is actually from Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. I mean, I have like gone in in on this. And this is actually really interesting, okay? So I normally grab this powder when I'm wearing like a skin tint, you know, just day to day. This powder locks everything into place, okay? This powder just means business, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna put a full face on and go swimming, set your makeup with this powder go swimming. Nothing is going to move. I have been wearing, we've been wearing masks for like fucking ever here in LA. And I've been wearing like, like wet skin tints. Okay. Like skin tints are very dewy. They're very balmy, very just wet. Okay. And I will set all of them with this and they don't move. I can take my mask on and off. I can eat. I can do all kinds of shit. Okay. And this powder just locks everything into place. I, I, I just, I swear by this powder. I am wearing this powder today. So whether I'm wearing like a full beat or if I'm just wearing something very very light even if it's just concealer I set it with this powder because I know that when I set it with this powder it's not gonna go anywhere it's not gonna move it's not gonna go anywhere I don't have to worry about touching up like this powder just holds everything in place I am shocked actually like I'm shocked I can't stop talking about this because I'm shocked like <laughs> again I mean I can take my mask on and off and like there will be no transfer onto my mask if I'm wearing like foundation if I'm wearing a skin tint just like nothing blush just nothing moves okay like <laughs> okay let's move on to powder bronzer okay i did mention this last year and i'm gonna mention it again because this is just my favorite bronzer anytime i do my makeup i just i i want to reach for this bronzer and i know i can't every single time but i want to this is from cover effects this is a monochromatic bronzer duo matte and shimmer in the shade sun kissed bronze and i just th first of all this is just like the perfect shade for me and it just looks like you have again the matte and the shimmer but the shimmer isn't even like it's 
it's not like chunky shimmer. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not glitter. You know what I'm saying? It just looks like a healthy glow on the face. I do normally just mix both of these together and apply it that way. Sometimes I will only go in with the matte one. Sometimes I'll only go in with the shimmer one and they just always look good. Okay. They always look smooth, airbrushed, just glowing on the skin. It's not like a heavy powder too. So if you have dry skin, I think you're going to love this just because it does look so healthy on the skin and it doesn't look dry. Do you know what I'm saying? The other one, I actually just recently got this. This is from By Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Medium Dark. This is actually the bronzer that I'm wearing today and I just... It just looks so natural on the face. I feel like this whole brand has actually rolled out a line of complexion products like bronzers, blushes, highlighters that are for like the everyday woman. Do you know what I mean? They just look natural on the face. They blend out really nicely. They diffuse just like, I don't know, like I feel like this bronzer just looks like the natural contours of my face. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't look like bronzer. It just looks like where the sun naturally kisses my face, you know? And I just, I, I love that about this brand. I love that all of the products just look natural and they look like your skin is just being enhanced and not like it's being covered. Do you know what I mean? And I love the shade ranges, y'all. Like the shade ranges, that's what got me. I, I walked into a Sephora and I was like, bitch, like. So of course I did grab the blushes. This is the Soft Pop Powder Blush. I do have this one in Wildberry. I also just purchased another one. It's like peach something or other, soft peach. I don't know what it's called, but I just, again I love that everything just looks so natural on the face you know it just looks healthy I feel like these products by Mario are made for the everyday woman in mind and I just you know like I fucks with that you know like not everybody is trying to walk around with a smoky eye every day you know some of us just want to look alive you know <laughs> and I do feel like these are like matte formulas but they're like glowy on the face like this bronzer it look it's matte but it looks just like healthy on the face it's not like a flat matte or like a dry matte you know what I'm saying and the blushes too the blushes are matte but they're not it's like a sheen you know what I'm saying I just I love that I love that it just it almost mimics natural skin you know what I'm saying? And that's also why I, I fucks with these blushes also. These are actually from Becca, which I'm pretty sure Smashbox bought out Becca and you can still get Becca products, but like from Smashbox. Does that make any sense? These are actually the, what are these? These are the mineral blushes. This is in the shade Nightingale and this is in the shade Songbird. I use Songbird like you would not believe, but I'm actually wearing Nightingale today. And again, just like those Makeup by Mario blushes, I just, I feel like these glow on the face. I mean, you could tell. I didn't bring down my highlighter, but you can tell here. It's like a sheen on the apples of my cheeks and it's not chunky. It's not glitter. It just looks healthy on the face. I feel like if you have dry skin, you're absolutely going to love these. And these are like products that look dewy, but aren't dewy for oily skin. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it is a powder blush, but it's almost like a creamy powder that just looks healthy on the face without adding any kind of tackiness to your face or stickiness to your face. Do you know what I mean? Like you can glow, but still be like dry to the touch. And I just absolutely love these. I, I'm going to try to snag more. If there are more, I'm going to try to get more because I, I absolutely love these blushes. I do reach for Songbird every time I do my makeup on an everyday basis. It's just my favorite blush right now. For highlighter, I actually only have like one single pressed highlighter, which is like shocking. Normally, I think last year I actually had a few, but this year I actually have more face palettes to share with y'all. So just, you know. <laughs> the single highlighter that I do have is actually from Jacqueline Cosmetics. This is the highlighter in the shade Mesmerized. I, I was actually shocked by a lot of her products because I... I didn't think I was gonna like any of them, to be completely honest. Like, I just, you know, like I didn't think the hype was real, but it is, y'all. It does look like a peach highlighter or whatever, but it has like a golden glow to it, and I just love the texture of this highlight. It actually looks exactly like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting powders, where it looks like a matte powder that is so finely milled that it just gives you like a sheen of a glow. Do you know what I'm saying? Like like a very, very smooth sheen. I just, I don't, I don't even know, like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but I do, I absolutely love this highlighter. It's actually been one of the few single highlighters that I've been reaching for like nonstop every time I do my makeup, just because I do like to wear that on days where I have a natural face because 
it's such a natural highlight. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, I hope y'all are ready because I have a ton I have a ton of like face palettes to share with y'all. The first one is from Pat McGrath, y'all. I just you know what? I just feel like Pat McGrath in general is just a 2021, like best of 2021. This is actually the Divine Blush and Glow Trio in the shade Amber Allure. This is actually the highlight that I'm wearing today. And y'all, I know, I know you see this, okay? I know you've been staring at it the entire video. I just, you know, this highlight. These two blushes are pigmented as hell, okay? So be careful, okay? But I feel like with Pat McGrath products, even though, like, if you go to her Instagram, all of the products actually look a little unwearable. They look very like Studio 54. It's like a whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? But what I love about her products is that like the colors may be like out of this world and the pigmentation may be like just crazy, but they're actually crazy wearable y'all like it is a formula that you will not get anywhere else all of the complexion products look like they were just second skin i don't know if that makes any sense but like you see this highlight right and i mean i know i, I went overboard this is like a highlight you can see from space right now <laughs> but i feel like it just it's almost like a glow from within you know like it's not like i, I don't know it, it's it almost looks like my skin just be golden you know what i'm saying does that make sense <laughs> i feel like i'm making zero sense but like while the products seem unwearable, I feel like Pat McGrath products are like made for the skin. I feel like that's why she's featured on like every runway, every magazine, every red carpet look. She is just the best at skin, okay? Pat McGrath gives you skin. Okay, the next face palette I actually have is also from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Rouge Romance Blush Palette. I loved this blush palette, y'all. And I feel like you have enough shades in here where you can actually go from like a daytime look to a nighttime look. And these, these bitches are pigmented. So you have to be careful with these two. And they are matte, but I don't feel like they're flat matte. You know, they don't look dry and cakey on the face. And they, they pack a punch. And I mean, I just love, I don't know, I guess I love the Bridgerton vibes that I I got from this collection do you know what I'm saying like and then this orange blush y'all I just I can't I this collection just spoke to me I absolutely love this blush palette I reach for it like on the regular because again you do have your like pinky peach tones or whatever that are natural and then you have like your pops of color that you want to wear like on days where just you know like you just want to fuck the world you know <laughs> I just that blush collection was it I feel like I could go anywhere with just this blush collection and just be good the same thing goes for this and I don't know if this this is available anymore. I want to say I did see it the last time I went to my Ulta, but I'm not 100% sure if this was limited edition. This is actually from Physician's Formula. This is the Butter Collection in collaboration with Wei Li Huang. I just feel like this is everyday vibes here, okay? This is for your everyday woman. All of these bronzers and blushes actually look so natural on the face, and they just look, again, like second skin. And these highlights do look like they're going to be glittery, but they are so smooth on the face. This is a collection, like a face collection that I feel like every woman should have. If they still have them available, run, don't walk, because I swear to God, like, <laughs> but I just, the tones, you know, I do wish they had darker bronzers though. I'm just saying, you know, because when I'm like real, real tan in the summertime, that just don't work. Okay. And the last face palette I have, I, I, I just, I wanted to scream from the mountaintops how good this was. Okay. This is actually from Danessa Myricks. This is the light work highlighting palette. You guys. Okay, I just, I feel like this came to play no games. I mean, do y'all see this? Y'all are not ready, okay? This highlighting palette, okay? It is so metallic, so smooth, so skin-like, just so luxurious. They're so buttery. I just, you can use this as a highlighter. You can use this as an eyeshadow palette. These bitches don't play, okay? They, they don't play. This is probably my favorite highlight palette, okay? And I know, like, I was one of those OG that ran out and got like the Anastasia highlighting palette. Y'all remember those? Y'all remember the craze over that? I was one of those. That was my holy grail. Nah, this. This though. This is a holy grail. I mean, <laughs> I, I really don't even need to say anything else. That That's it. Like, <laughs> before I talk about eyeshadows, I just have to talk about this, okay? And I know I just won't shut up about this, and I'm not gonna shut up about it, okay? I'm still not. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. This is in the shade Invisipink. I wasn't aware that they have other shades, but <laughs> I'm gonna go look. This is my holy grail eye primer, y'all. I have the oiliest eyelids of life 
Okay, like, I just, I don't even understand what it is. Like, my eyelids are just so damn oily, and, like, nothing will stay on my eyelids. I could use the most expensive shadows known to man, and I do. Okay, trust me, I do. And this is really the only thing that keeps them from breaking up, keeps everything from creasing. It keeps my shadows on forever, okay? They wear so much better. And I feel like it just makes everything even more, like, vibrant, you know what I'm saying? So if I want to wear, like, a neon or just, like, bright colored eyeshadow, this is this is my secret weapon I feel like this really just keeps my shadows on and just looking just so vibrant forever I you know like I'm, I'm never gonna shut up about this I'm never gonna stop using it I want to say this has been like my second tube that I've had to go out and purchase because I just I love that eyeshadow primer okay now to eyeshadows okay I I feel bad Okay, because I really don't have any affordable eyeshadows to show y'all and I'm just I'm sorry But I'm that bitch. Okay, the first set that I'm gonna show y'all I, I really it's not even like one eyeshadow palette. It's just Natasha Denona shadows Okay, this is actually the sunset palette and like it's just you know fall vibes, you know every warm Bitch's dream, you know, I also have the safari palette This is just a bunch of mattes really just every matte that you would ever need to do any warm tone looks cool tone looks and I just the mattes are so buttery and they blend so beautifully and I just you know the shimmers are everything if you're not willing to shell out like 100 150 bucks for these large eyeshadow palettes they do have smaller ones I think these are actually like $50 or 48 or something but they do have these smaller ones for 25 if you haven't tried Natasha Denona shadows, I really don't know what you're doing with your life. I don't because they're just so buttery, so soft, so easy to work with. The pigmentation is there. I just, I, I feel like I actually enjoy doing my shadows when I use one of these palettes. And I just, you know... Like, <laughs> the other one is just, is just Pat McGrath shadows, okay? I, I just, I, I couldn't not mention Pat McGrath shadows. I'm sorry. You know, look, I just, just the packaging alone. These are actual, like, exterior cartons, like, boxes that I just can't get rid of because the packaging is just so beautiful. I mean, do you see this? This is actually their newer palette. This is the Mo Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey. This just launched, y'all. This just launched. And this is actually the shadow palette that I'm using today. You guys. So I actually use this in my crease, this in my outer corner, this all over the lid, this uh, on the lower lash line, and this in the inner corner. And y'all, I just, you know, like, I can't even begin to explain the textures and the formulas of Pat McGrath shadows. I just feel like, again, it's very, like, Studio 54 vibes or whatever. The formulas, you're just not going to find anywhere else. I feel like the shimmers, the not just the shimmers, but, like, the colors, the colored stories that you get, the textures, the butteriness, just the sparkliness, the pigmentation of the matte shadows, the they're so buttery, you know? This is actually the Rose Decadence palette, and I, I just, you know, like, again, it looks intimidating, but it's actually a lot more wearable than you think it's gonna be. This one actually launched, like, a couple of years ago. This is the Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation palette, and again, very wearable, but the textures are not anything you're gonna find anywhere else, I, I promise you. These are actually, like, the shadow quads or whatever. This is the Bronze Borealis. I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but you know, like even if you just got a quad, you know what I'm saying? Like some of these shadows, I just, you know what I'm saying? Like you're just, you're not going to find anything like this anywhere else. I promise you it's going to wear better. It's going to feel better. It's going to blend better. I just, Pat McGrath shadows are just, you know, and the packaging y'all, I'm sorry. I just, I fucks with Pat McGrath packaging. You just feel like you're getting a luxury product. You know what I'm saying? It is not for the faint of heart though. That price tag, it hurts. I'm going to tell you from first hand, it hurts, but it is like well worth the price tag. It's one of the few luxury brands that I actually have purchased a full ass face from. I had, you know, the, the foundation, the concealer, the powder, just everything because I do feel like, again, nobody does skin like Pat McGrath does skin, okay? You can't tell me nothing. I don't care what you say. Like, but those are just brands, again, that I feel like really, it's not even just the palette. It's just the shadows in general, y'all. They, they just, they're gonna blow you away. Now these two, 
two, it's specifically the palette. So this one is actually from Huda Beauty. This is the Naughty Nude palette. And it's very like nude, but also like plum vibes. I, I fucked with this when it launched so hard. Like I love the pigmentation of these. The mattes aren't as buttery, but they're pigmented as fuck. It's almost like a pressed pigment in the pan. And then a lot of these, again, these textures are just, you know, the shimmers. You have some swirls in here that kind of give you like a duochrome. <sighs> this palette, y'all, if you don't have it, you need it. It's like a different take on a nude eyeshadow palette. Do you know what I'm saying? So while it is wearable, it is a nude palette. You can get a very neutral look out of it. It's also like a plum twist on it. So it's not your average nude palette. Do you know what I'm saying? And the other palette I have, this is actually from Vive. And it's just like, like if you only had one neutral palette, I think it needs to be this one. I have so many shadows, you guys. I have so many palettes. But when I think of like my perfect nude eyeshadow palette, this is the one I go for. I just, I can't, I can't not reach for this. You know, when I want to do a smoky eye, when I want to do just like, just a nude, neutral eye, do you know what I'm saying? When I want like a shimmer that's going to look like a sparkle, but not glitter, do you know what I'm saying? Because these are, it's like, I don't, I don't know if you could tell there. It is like, I don't know how to explain it. There's no base color to it. So it is just like a twinkle. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not like a shimmer or a sheen. It's just like a twinkle. I don't, I don't know if I can explain that properly. It's like very, very, very fine glitters. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so I do use this on days where I just want a very neutral look, but I want it to have that like little twinkle, you know? I, don't, I really don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but I absolutely love this palette. The pigmentation is out of this world. These are so pigmented. And I do feel like the pans are large enough to where like, I could use this as a blush, okay? I could probably use these as like bronzers, you know what I'm saying? I could probably make a highlight out of this one. And I just feel like it's such a good, just all around nude palette that just, it's a staple. It's such a staple. Anyways. <laughs> I did want to do a quick shout out to these also. These are actually liquid shadows from Natasha Denona. <sighs> I, you know what? Out of all the liquid shadows that I've used, these are actually my favorite. I love the chrome crystal liquid shadows, that, which are these. This is actually just in the shades. Sienna and Abade. I don't know how to pronounce that. But these are just basically like a sheen, like a very metallic, smooth sheen. But it also has like a twinkle to it. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's not like chunky glitter. I feel like the Stila ones are, are very chunky. These are just so smooth. And I just love how they look on the eyes and they wear forever and then they also have these these are the chromium liquid shadows which are like duochrome shadows or whatever I absolutely love these you can use them as like eyeshadows all over the lid you can do a pop in the inner corner I've actually used these as eyeliners before and I just I you know like I just love those specific formulas again because they're so smooth and they're so just like metallic looking but also they have that twinkle you know that that like barely their sparkle. Do you know what I'm saying? That's not like chunky or uncomfortable. I just, I fucks with them, you know? Y'all, I have a whole drawer of setting sprays, okay? <laughs> and really, I don't use any of them except for this one. And I mean, it's clear because I, I'm out. This is from Smashbox. This is the, the Photo Finish Primer Water. Y'all, okay, I actually don't use this to prime, but I use this to set my face after I've done my makeup. And I do feel like my makeup lasts so much longer. Like normally when I get oily, like my makeup does start to break up a little bit but not with this and I just feel like if you're one of those girls it has to work like 12 hour 10 12 hour days you know you're kind of exposed to the elements all the time I do feel like this is a really good way to like get more longevity out of your makeup because it does work bitch like it does it does set that bitch in place and I almost feel like because it's a primer water and it's really designed to like at, like have your foundation adhere to it pretty much I feel like when I spray it over oh man it almost like seals everything in like nothing is moving after this so I do reach for this like constantly just because when I do do my makeup I want it to last long so for eyeliner I actually don't use a lot of eyeliner because I am a contact wearer 
and I just, it bothers me. This is the only one that doesn't. This is from Urban Decay. This is a 24-7 waterline eye pencil. This is just in the shade black. It's ca actually called Legend, but it's just a basic black, and I just feel like this is the best black eyeliner I have ever used. It actually never comes out of my waterline. It never bleeds. It never ends up under my eyes. It stays in place in my waterline, like, all day long until I take it off, pretty much, and I just, it doesn't, like, rub off onto my contacts, which is, like, an issue that I have with a lot of other eyeliners, and I just, you know, I had to mention it. And then for mascara, you know, I have so many, and this is really the only one that I could pick out because I am obsessed with this mascara. I love the volume and the length that it gives me. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara, and that's exactly what it is. This mascara is so black. It is so volumizing. It is so lengthening. It fans out your lashes and just makes them almost look like mink lashes. I am wearing this today. Well, you can't really tell because I'm wearing a lot of makeup a lot of eye makeup, but oh my god, I just, I, I love this mascara. I actually found another one of these at like a TJ Maxx for like half price. Oh man, that's my favorite mascara. I just, I love the effect that it gives and it doesn't actually crumble and end up under my eyes all the time, which I hate. I mean, I want all the volume, but I don't want any of the crumbles. You know what I mean? And then for brows, this has actually been like just the two brow products that I have consistently used like all year. I mean, I've tried other things. I've liked other things, but I always go back to these. This is from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. I am wearing this today. I do feel like it is like my perfect shade. It's pigmented enough to where I can get a brow like fairly quickly. It is pigmented, but it's not like super pigmented to where you end up with like black brows pretty much. I, I, I just, I hate that. It does look like natural in the brows. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I love, I love the formula of this. I love how it looks. And I just, this, this is just my favorite pencil. I've tried other ones. I just, you know, it glides into your eyebrows, but it's not like too pigmented. Do you know what I'm saying? I just, and then the gel that I have been using all year is actually from ColourPop. This is the Brow Boss Gel. I do love my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I do, but it is like putting like gel in your hair. And I actually find that when you're like out in natural light, it actually makes your eyebrows look shiny. And I just, it just makes it look so fake. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just not about that look. I want my brows to look naturally bushy. And I feel like this gives it to me. This is like a gel wax hybrid. So I feel like it works like a wax, but operates like a gel. Do you know what I'm saying? It is what I have in my brows today. And while it does feel like it doesn't feel sticky, I do feel like my brows are like put in place and they don't move like at all. So I really love this. It does look white when you brush it onto your brows, but it does eventually like I don't know, fade? The whiteness fades? I don't know. Let's do lips, and I'm gonna hurry up because it's gonna take forever. <laughs> I couldn't really pick one lip product just because there's so many categories just within the lip category that I just, I felt like I just couldn't just pick one, okay? So, for lip liners. <laughs> this is actually my favorite one. This is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the lip liner in the shade Coffee Cake, I think, which I wish they would have put the name towards the end of it rather than the beginning because when it gets down to it, I'm not gonna know what the fuck this was. <laughs> but I digress. This glides on, y'all. This glides on. It is my perfect nude lip liner. It goes with every nude lipstick that I own. It actually helps tone down some of the lighter nudes that I have. And it just is so long wearing. It glides on, but once it's on, it's not coming off. Okay, I, I love this lip liner. For bullet lipsticks, I, I just, MAC is just always gonna be my favorite, okay? MAC lipsticks I, are just where it's at. If you need any shade, any color, any formula, any finish, MAC is gonna have it. I'm sorry. They're the end all be all of lipsticks, okay? I don't care what you say. I have three of these organizers full in my drawer of just MAC lipsticks because they're just my favorite. I have damn near every shade. I I love MAC lipsticks. They're, they're just everything, okay? But I do have another. <laughs> the other bullet lipstick that I've really been loving, this is actually the one that I'm wearing today. This is from Huda Beauty. This is the matte lipstick in the shade Bored meeting this is just my perfect nude okay if there was ever just one nude lipstick that was made for me it was this one and it's actually I mean it's not too brown it's not too pink it's not too gray I feel like a lot of nude lipsticks do come off a little gray on me I don't know why but this one is like my perfect nude I I feel like I could just slap this on and go you know what I'm saying like I love the formula of this it does feel really light almost like a powdered formula on the lips but it's not super drying it is a matte formula 
formula, but it's not dry. And it's just comfortable on the lips and I just love it. Okay. Okay. For liquid lips, <laughs> these two are really not just the formula, but also the shade. <laughs> so for the first one, the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipsticks. Okay. Not just this shade, but just all of them in general, because I do have other shades of this formula that I just, this liquid lipstick is so comfortable. Okay. And it is always on. Like I have eaten and this does not come off. And I just, this shade in particular is in the shade Boss. Okay. Everybody needs this. Okay. Everybody needs this liquid lip. It dries down and looks so velvety on the lips, but you're, but it moves with your lips. If that makes any sense, it doesn't crumble. It doesn't crack. You don't get butthole lip. It doesn't look dry and crepey. I have this shade and stepping out that I use like constantly. Um, stepping out is kind of like a mauve nude color or whatever, but this is like one of my favorite reds in my entire collection just because of how easy it is to wear. I, I absolutely love this. And the other one. Okay. I also have this in nude shades and it's not just this color. It's this formula in general. This is uh, from Milani. This is the Amore Satin Matte Lip Cream. That's exactly what it is. And you can actually see the difference in these reds, kind of. But this one is actually a little bit more orange in undertone. And again, it dries down velvety matte, but is so comfortable on the lips. And this one is so affordable. I, I just, I'm shocked that I loved these as much as I did. They're so long wearing. They look so good on the lips. Again, they're not dry. It's like a satin matte, so it does move with your lips. And I almost feel like these are dupes of one another. Like if you can't afford this one, go get this one because <laughs> I, I absolutely love those liquid lipsticks. They're the only liquid lipsticks that I have in my collection right now. I mean, I might have others, but those are the only ones that I use. <laughs> okay, for gloss. Okay, I actually have a few things <laughs> because I couldn't decide. So the first one is just Pat McGrath glosses. Again, I keep the packaging because I just can't let go. I do have one in Flesh Astral in the drawer. This was in the shade Faux Real and it's just like a nude with gold reflect. I don't know what it is about these Pat McGrath glosses that the formulation of them is just so weird. The colors look so intimidating. Like I'll show you, this one is... This one is Gold Allure, 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 and you could see, like, it looks intimidating. It looks like you're gonna put this on your lips and it's gonna look crazy metallic and just weird and like super stu Studio 54-like or, you know, but it's not. <laughs> and what trips me out is I guess while it is gold, you can see that gold shift there. It looks just so juicy on the lips. You don't feel the shimmer at all. There is no grittiness whatsoever. I don't know how she packs that much shimmer into a gloss and it does not feel gritty. Do you know what I'm saying? And I mean, even though they look intimidating, like this is Bronze Venus, and even though it looks intimidating, it looks so natural almost on the lips like it just looks juicy and this one actually has like almost a pink shimmer shift to it I don't think you can tell but <sighs> It looks intimidating in the tube, but it looks just beautiful on the lips. I Her glosses are so worth the $30. And I mean, I realize $30 is crazy to pay for a gloss, but I don't care. I, I really don't care. I love Pat McGrath glosses. The colors, the formulas, just the shimmeriness, the juiciness, you know? And I do feel like these glosses wear a pretty long time for a gloss. The other gloss that I have is actually from Tower 28. This is the Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Cashew. This is actually the the lip gloss that I'm wearing right now, I actually put on the the Jaclyn Hill lip liner and then I put on this Huda Beauty lipstick and then I actually packed on this lip gloss on top. It is one of the few lip glosses that I can wear over a lipstick that doesn't make it look gunky. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes when you pile on too many lip products, it just looks almost like it's about to gather in the corner of your mouth and it just, it looks gross, okay? But this lip gloss is so thin, but so glossy that it just works over really any lip product. I've worn it by itself and it just looks like your lips but better, but it also works so well over a lipstick or a lip liner. And I just, you know, this is one of my favorite lip glosses of all time. It's just, it looks so natural on the lips, but it's still so juicy. It's one of the best, y'all. It's one of the best. <laughs>
Okay, and last for lip balm. This is more like daytime lip balm. I wouldn't I wouldn't really include like just lip balm that I wear, like my overnight lip masks. I mean, y'all know what the deal is over here. <laughs> but these lip balms, I just, they're always living with me. The first one is actually from e.l.f. These are the Ride or Die lip balms. I have the shade Tough Cookie and Just Peachy. And these are so reminiscent of the Bite Beauty Agave lip balms. I just, I, I feel like these are so thick so emollient but they also have color to them so it's like your lips but better and they do complete a look but they're so nourishing on the lips they last a really long time because they are super tacky like it is a super thick like lip balm but I absolutely love these especially when I know I'm gonna go out and eat or drink because they do stay on the lips for a good amount of time and I just they're real good you know they're real good lip balms and I think the last item everybody saw coming because I I've been obsessing with these this is actually the the second bottle that I've gone through bottle tube. I mean, <laughs> this is the second tube that I've gone through. This is from Ami Cold. This is the lip treatment oil. It's a universal shade pretty much. There's no shade, but this looks so good on your lips, y'all. This feels so good on your lips. It is like super thick and super, super tacky, but it like stays on your lips, you know, even through food and drink. And I just, you know, it's, it just feels so wet, so glossy and so nourishing all at the same time. I mean, I never actually wear lipstick anymore just because I'm over always wearing this under my mask and I do feel like even after taking my mask on and off even after drinking I do feel like this lasts through the apocalypse I swear to god I this is my favorite lip balm it's it lives in my purse I'm about to purchase my third tube of this I absolutely love this Whew. Oh man, this this was a lot, y'all. This, this, oh God, my head hurts. <laughs> That's it. Those were my 2021 favorites. These are just all the items that just got me through the year, y'all. I, I, you know. <laughs> anyway, let me know. Did y'all love any of these products? Did y'all hate any of these products? What were your 2021 favorites? You know, I just, I just want to know. I'm just curious. Is there something I need to be buying? Because. <laughs> A bitch will go out and buy anything right now. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and stay tuned. I just, I preach, I appreciate. Ugh. Anyway, let's get started because it's going to take forever. Jackson. I've actually seen people cover the, the, this is from the new, the, uh, uh, I, I, what? You know, uh, this was, this was, am I drunk already? Like, can I talk today? But the single shadow, I mean, but this, uh, uh -huh. but the single, um, what am I doing? I was one of them like OGs that went and went out. Uh -huh. I have the oily, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my God, I have glitter everywhere. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> I should like wipe this off too. Is it on my pants yet? Yes it is. Great. Great. It's actually from Vive Cosmetics. Uh, Vive? Just Vive. Is it? I don't know. Do do. <laughs> this is from Urban Decay. This is the 27... <laughs> I can feel in my brows very... I need another drink.